Mm. They did forecast it, but I kind of hoped we'd get away with it. Morning world, welcome to Monday 22nd of April and on the job card today is rolling. Right, you're all alright in there, maybe a bed refresh later on, definitely for you guys. You folks are alright, your bed's plenty good enough and actually you're spending more time sleeping outside anyway, plenty of food, you're alright. And how about you? Are you alright? Are you all right? Are you? You all right? You're all right, ain't you? Yes, you are. Come on in. Come on in. That's actually pretty inconvenient if somebody else wants something to eat, you know, you lot. Because they, they can't get round you. Oh, well. Okay, so first job, we need to move little bales of straw in the shed down there so I can get the roller on. But before I put the roller on, we've got to get the slitter rake off. Biscuit gone. I know her. She'll be looking for calf poo. That's exactly where she is. Oi, you! Get out of it! <laughs> Busted. <laughs> yeah, you see her off. <laughs> Find out where that little monkey is. She's in there willing the calf poo to come to her, probably. The thing is, the calves have all had drugs for Coxie. And I really don't want the dog eating that. Where is she? Come on. Come on. Little Miss Bloody Calf Poo wouldn't melt in your mouth. Hey? Have you got any in your face? Have you got any? Yeah, I think maybe we got you in time, didn't we? Hey? Yeah. Come on. We need to go and we'll go in the field and knock all this off. Don't leave that on there. And then that can come off, roller can go on. I got a cobweb or something in my eye and it, I keep thinking I've got it out and then it keeps reappearing. Oh, oh sorry, I didn't mean to drop the key on you. I was sorry, sorry. Right, let me go. Go on. I didn't mean to throw it at you. I didn't, I just dropped it. I'm not letting you lick my face just in case you have beaten calf poo because you would if you could, wouldn't you? Right, well, the tree team are off in Old Sodbury. Um, they're working on Leylandi Hedge and a chestnut today for an old friend. Um, so they're busy for the day. I haven't got to worry about them. Us, well, I think most of my day is going to be spent in here unless it rains. If it starts chucking down with rain, we'll have to stop. We might as well put the dirt where we need it. Right, excuse me a minute. Where's me thing? I'm looking for me thing. Me thing being a road pin. There it is. This is me, me, me dirt knocker offer. Some of that is welded on there. As long as I get the worst of it off, I don't mind a little bit.
that's the worst of it. Uh, while we're out. up a little bit higher, make sure the feet don't touch the floor. Yes, I know. Right, I'm not putting it here because it will sink. So we're going back in the yard. Half a tank of fuel, that's enough for this morning anyway. Right, so sometime today I've got to edit a video as well because I've run out of edited stuff. We've been quite busy, because it's been long days. I've been spending a lot more time outside, which means a lot less time inside and a lot less time for editing video. And right now, at nine o'clock this morning, I've got nothing to upload tonight. But the weatherman says it's gonna rain. So I'm just gonna do it now, do the rolling now, and if it chucks down rain this afternoon, I can at least then um, sit in the office in the dry then, so it kind of makes sense to do it that way around. How about there? Is that better? At least I know the ground's hard there. I'll just put something under that foot. And I can still get to that. I'm happy with that. Okay. We are good to go. So, uh, as far as the range concerned, a minute, it's just spits and spots. So, and I'm kind of open. That's how it's going to stay. What's the weatherman say? Weatherman says Monday, 10 till 4. Wet. We, we may not get much of this done. I can't actually see the hook. It's too blinking dark. Well, I think it's about there. Have I got him? I think I have. Right. I'm going to top you up with some water. Okay. Right. I can't see the bungs, so I don't know if they're at the top or the bottom. So I'm going to have to get out and have a look. 
I'll go forward a bit for you. And forward a bit for you. Right there, Dritton. It's close. That's all right for you. Might have gone too far for this one. Oh, no. That's close enough. So, is he going to be under vacuum or under pressure? I'm going to go with vacuum. Tap. I don't remember how much I let out of there, so I don't know how long that's going to take. Not long, I don't think. I don't remember doing it that tight though. So, I'll see if I can catch the hiss on this one. Maybe I will. Hang on. Let's put you there. Getting that? So I would say there's less water in this side. Talk of the devil. He's already full. I'll come and tighten you up in a second. I think this is going to take a bit longer. Yeah, judging by the sound of that. Water's falling a long way. That's going to take 20 minutes. So while we're doing that, we'll grease him up. And the grease cartridge is out. Of course it is. This is where I get it all over myself again, isn't it? I always flip into, because I haven't got my overalls on, I'm completely unprepared. Uh, I'm trying to be careful with this not to suddenly break it and chuck it all over my fleece. Because if you've been with me long enough, you'll know I'm usually pretty good at that. So what I should do is go to the house and put an overall on. That's what I should do. If I was clever, I'd do that. So I expect somebody going, oh, why don't you use the battery one? Well, I could use a battery one, but this is the tractor grease gun, the one I keep in the tractor, and it was empty. They needed topping up anyway, so I had to do this. Huh? Come in, come on in. I like this new kitchen malarkey. It's easy to make her jump. <laughs> yeah, yeah made you jump. I'll have two ninety nines and a magnum, please. <laughs> Are you sure you do take that, you? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> do not names Magnum. Don't forget, I want a big flake in mine. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> are, you, are you sorry? Are you really patty? Oh, all right. <laughs> mm, I'd say. All right. <laughs> you on there? Yeah. So, why couldn't you make the bearing with the grease nipple up? I mean, there's obviously a really good reason for that. I just can't work out what it is. How are we doing up here? I can't hear any water splashing anymore. I reckon we're about there. While we're here, this gully looks a bit full. So I think we'll just tip you out while we can. Novel use for a shepherd's crook, eh? Yeah. 
is a bit full. So we empty these guys out, I don't know, every six, eight weeks, something like that. Because it's uh, gravel yards, they tend to get filled with crap. Right, yucky. Yucky, yucky. I need two hands. Oh, I think I hear the tinkle tickle of dribbling water. So I do. Get in there. That's it. Tighten that up with my spanner. <coughs> and we're ready to go. <sighs> Sorted. And so is my drain. Shall we? Okay, what do you reckon? Round and round first or up and down? Or maybe even side to side? We did talk about side to side, didn't we? And which field? Should I start? I think we'll start at the bottom one. Bottom right. So we'll roll the footpath. And then, yeah, bottom right. My mower will appreciate me rolling the footpath a lot. So the question now is, the most efficient fuel uh, way of rolling this is up and down with the footpath. But I slit it that way. But the question is, because the slits are long, thin, am I better going with the slit or across the slit? If I go across the slit, am I more likely to close it up? I mean, it might seem counterintuitive. I've slit the ground, I've opened it up, and now I'm going to roll it and squeeze it back down. But basically, the, the main thing for rolling is to any stones that we've missed picking up, they'll be pushed back down into the ground. If we want to go over it with a mower or the topper, we're less likely to hit a stone. Or It also takes a little lumps and bumps out of it. But I want to keep the ground opened up as much as I can. So, uh, yeah. I think I'm going to do the old-fashioned up and down along the length of the slit. I think I'm less likely to close it that way. That makes sense to me anyway, so. Okay, here goes something. So we've put the tractor in four wheel drive to start off because this end of the field, this bit here is quite damp and I'd rather not chew it up any more than I have to. Let's have a look. <coughs> Before rolling. After rolling. So yeah, the slits are closed a bit but they're not closed right up. 
So I think this is the right decision to go this way. So I'm sure somebody will tell me I'm wrong. But anyway, this is the way we're going to do it. Right there. On your nose. I reckon this will take to do all three pieces about six hours. So, and I don't think we're going to get it all done today. I think the weather's going to stop us. Right now it's just damp, but if it gets wet and all the little bits of dirt start sticking to the roller, then it makes a mess. I don't want to make a mess. Okay, we are done. It is. 22 midday and famous Dave is in the yard and he's just insisted that I come up and make him a cup of coffee which I'm going to do because I finished this field now and I've not I've told him I'm not going up because he told me to go up and make him a cup of coffee I've, I'm going up because I finished this field and I want a cup of coffee just just so he knows you know so yeah one field done it is quite damp um, as you can see outside. It's not chucking down with rain, but it is quite damp. Nothing is sticking to the roller yet, which is good news. And it means we might come out and do the avenue after coffee. We'll see. We'll see.